something that I've been thinking a lot for a long time and I finally was able to feel the confidence to paint it and bring it into my work is the wave. The wave not as a landscape of the ocean, but the wave as an object, as a metaphoric object that brings new things to us and also takes from us as well. An element that is very complex, that is very unpredictable, that sometimes is read as something very dangerous, but then also very beautiful, poetic, that connects us in some way or the other. What I have learned over time is that I, I have a tendency of having the need to go back home, but also sometimes to get away from home. Born and raised in the island of Puerto Rico and Hong Kong being an island as well, I thought, you know, I could create a really interesting conversation in a very humble way about both places. The work, which is a composed of works that are more abstract and works that are more figurative, they both really navigate uh, the subject that I usually have tend to really work around with, which is memory. The Sea Remembers is, is really connected to a memory of my grandmother when I was a child as she always has this way of describing the ocean as something quite vivid. She would usually say that we shouldn't trust the ocean, that the ocean will remember the things that we do and will take the things back that belong to her. So all these descriptions were almost felt as she was speaking of a human being. These are not paintings that depict completely and only about memories of my past, um, but they are collapsed with my present as well. Oil paint has such a strong connection to earth, right, and to nature. The pigments, they come from different, different kind of parts of earth. Obviously, with all these classical artists, of Caravaggio, Rembrandt, oil paint and the substance of oil painting was so helpful in captivating the essence of kind of a real skin, of how we perceive skin. In the studio as a student in school in Chicago, I had all this dry oil paint in my palette that I didn't have the guts to throw away because it was very expensive. And they were dry paint that I had scraped from paintings that I didn't like. I paint over glass using oil paint, of course, and then I scrape the oil paint of whatever reference I have painted in the glass, scrape it out, and then that dry oil paint, then I tend to proceed to collage on the canvas. The physical process of scraping this paint off the glass, revealing a distorted version of what I had painted weeks or a month ago, had a strong relationship to the body. The description of skins doesn't only really reference oil paint. It also connects, I think is quite related to the way I scrape the, the paint off the glass, which have, it kind of needs, has the need for me to use my entire body and I'm kind of peeling it out, you know, it's like almost you're de-skinning something and revealing something. And so I believe, you know, it really covers my whole way of thinking about painting, about nature and the materiality as a whole.